Dear students, welcome. This is our first class on partial differentiation. Already we have done 13 questions. Today, I shall try to solve these three problems. See the question number 14. The question number 14. If x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta. Then we have to prove this one. Del r by del x, del r by del y. Del r by del x whole square plus del r by del y whole square. Means, <coughs> we have to differentiate r with respect to x partially. And we have to differentiate r with respect to y partially. Means r is a function of x and y. You see, number 14. Number 14. x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta y equal to r sin theta this means squaring and adding we get x square plus y square equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta you get this r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta this is equal to r square cos square theta plus sin square theta this is equal to r square this means r square equal to x square plus y square means r is a function of x and y now differentiate this with respect to x and with respect to y partially differentiate this with respect to x and with respect to y partially suppose you are differentiating this with respect to x therefore thus differentiate with respect to x you will get this one R is a function of x and y. If you differentiate r square with respect to r, you will get twice r. But you are differentiating with respect to x. Therefore, you will get del r by del x partially. Because r is a function of x and y. r square is equal to x square plus y square means r is equal to root over x square plus y square. r is a function of x and y. This is equal to twice x plus 0. This means del r by del x equal to x by r you will get del r by del x equal to x by r 2 2 will be cancel x by r similarly similarly differentiate with respect to y partially del del y of x square plus y square differentiate with respect to y partially this means you will get twice r del r by del y equal to 0 plus twice y you will get this one 2 2 will be cancelled this means del r by del y equal to y by r del r by del y equal to y by r now you have to prove that del r by del x whole square plus del r by del y whole square equal to 1 therefore del r by del x whole square this whole square plus del r by del y whole square equal to x by r whole square plus y by r whole square this is equal to x square by r square plus y square by r square you will get x square by r square plus y square by r square this is equal to r square and in the numerator you will get x square plus y square what is x square plus y square x square plus y square equal to r square this is equal to r square r square by r square equal to 1 therefore del r by del x whole square plus del r by del y whole square equal to 1 therefore we have proved this one uh, this, this one number 1 del r by del x whole square plus del r by del y whole square equal to 1 now second one is we have to prove that the second derivative is del 2 r by del x square, del 2 r by del y square. Means we have to differentiate partially del r by del x with respect to x. And we have to differentiate partially with respect to y, del r by del y with respect to y. Then add, then if you add, you will get 1 by r. You will get 1 by r. <coughs> now, Now, del r by del x means x by r. Del to r by del x square. 
del to r by del x bar equal to del del x of del r by del x. You will get this one. Del del x of del r by del x. This is equal to del del x of. You may write here now. Del r by del x means x by r. It is x by r. Del r by del x equal to x by r. This is equal to, you see here, r is a function of, it is r, r is a function of x and y. You are differentiating partially x by r with respect to x. Therefore, it is, in the uh, denominator, you will have to write denominator square. It is denominator into differentiation of the numerator minus numerator into differentiation of the numerator with respect to x parcel. This is equal to r into 1 minus x. What is del r by del x? It is x by r. x by r. And it is r square x by r. I am writing here del r by del x equal to x by r and del r by del y equal to y by r. y by r. Now, this is equal to r cube. Why r cube? Already r square is there. x by r. It is just the, <coughs> take the LCM of the numerator r and you will get r square minus x square. You will get r square minus x square. You may write here R square into R. Next step I will write R cube. R cube. R square means X square plus Y square minus X square. Means X square X square cancel. You will get Y square by R cube. Y square by R cube. You will get Y square by R cube. Similarly. Similarly. Del, <coughs> del 2 r by del y square equal to del del y of del r by del y del del r of del Par differentiate partially with respect to y del r by del y with respect to y this is equal to del del y of what is del r by del y y by r y by r this is equal to r square R into differentiation of the numerator 1 minus numerator y differentiation del r by del y. You get del r by del y. This is equal to r minus y into y by r divided by r square. y by r divided by r square. This is equal to r square into r. You will get r square minus y square. This is equal to x square plus y square minus y square by r cube. This is equal to x square by r cube. x square by r cube. Thus, <coughs> we have got del to r by del x square equal to y square by r cube. Also, del to r by del y square equal to x square by r cube x square by r cube now therefore del to r by del x square plus del to r by del y square equal to y square by r cube plus x square by r cube this is equal to r cube here R cube and you will get y square plus x square. This is equal to r square by r cube equal to 1 by r equal to 1 by r. Therefore, del 2 r by del x square plus del 2 r by del y square equal to 1 by r. This is equal to 1 by r. Therefore, we have proved this one. Number 2. Number 2 has been proved. Number two have been put.
Now, number three. Now, del 2 r by del x square into del 2 r by del y square equal to y square by r cube into x square by r cube equal to x square y square divided by r to the power 6 x square y square divided by r to the power 6 you will get this now we have to prove that this is equal to del 2 r by del x square del 2 r by del y square equal to del 2 r by del x del y full square now del 2 r by del x del y will be equal to del del x of del r by del y del del x of del r by del y this is equal to del del x of del r by del y it is y by r y by r this is y by r this is equal to it is also a product of not product constant. y is constant if you are differentiating partially with respect to y with respect to x y is constant y del del x of 1 by r means r to the power minus 1. You will write this. Like this. This is equal to y. Minus 1 r to the power minus 2 del r by del x. Del r by del x. This is equal to minus y by r square. Del r by del x means x by r. x by r. This is equal to minus xy by r cube. Minus xy by r cube. We get minus x y by r cube. Therefore, del 2 r by del x del y whole square equal to minus x y by r cube whole square. This is equal to x square y square divided by r to the power 6. You see here x square y square divided by r to the power 6. Thus, del 2 r by del x square into del 2 r by del y square equal to del 2 r by del x del y whole square del 2 r by del x del y whole square therefore we have proved this one also question number 14 we have answered question number 14 now let us perhaps you have understood this one question number 15 what is this u equal to log r u equal to log r means u is a function of r r only where r square equal to x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square means r is a function of three variables x y and z a b c are constants a b c are constants then you are to show that del 2 u by del x square plus del 2 u by del y square plus del 2 u by del z square equal to 1 by r square. We have proved this one. <coughs> Now, question number two. U will go to log r. Today's question number two, uh, the question number 15. U equal to log r. R square equal to x minus a whole square, y minus b whole square, plus z minus c whole square. R square equal to this. Suppose this is number 1, this is number 2. Differentiating 2 partially with respect to x, we get. Differentiating 2 partially with respect to x, we get. 2 partially with respect to x, we get. We get. Twice r, del r by del x, 
You will do two times of x point as a. You will get two times of x point as a. This means del r by del h equal to x minus a divided by r. X minus a divided by r. U equal to log r. You have to find del u by del x. Therefore, del u by del x equal to differentiate this with respect to r. You will get 1 by r. But you are differentiating partially with respect to x. You will have to write del r by del x. Del r by del x. 1 by r. Del r by del x. This is equal to 1 by r. It will be x minus a divided by r. This is equal to x minus a by r square. x minus a divided by r square. Del u by del x equal to x minus a by r square. Therefore, del to u by del x square equal to del del x of del u by del x equal to del del x of it will be x minus a by r square. x minus a divided by r square. Now, what is r square? Equal to x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square. Means r is a function of x, y and z. It is a product from uh, <coughs> x minus a and 1 by r square. Thus, you may write If you differentiate this, you will get a square, the numerator square, into, and in the numerator you will get numerator into differentiation of uh, the numerator into differentiation of the numerator x minus e minus numerator into differentiation of the denominator, you will get this one. This is equal to r square into 1 minus x minus e into. What is del del x of toy, uh, r square? It will be twice r. Differentiation of r square is twice r. And del r by del x. And in the numerator, the numerator you will get r square. R to the power 4. What is del r by del x? Del r by del x is x minus a divided by r. This is equal to r square minus 2 times 4 x minus a r x minus a divided by r x minus a divided by r divided by r to the power 2 now r r will be cancelled r r will be cancelled now oh. therefore Del to u by del x square will be equal to r square minus 2 times of x minus a whole square divided by r to the power 4. x minus a into x minus a, x minus a whole square divided by r to the power 4. You will get this. Now, <coughs> let's go this one. Similarly, If you differentiate 2 partially with respect to y, then x minus a, this term will be treated as constant and z minus c also be treated as constant. Then you will get definitely r square minus twice y minus b whole square divided by r to the power 4. Similarly by symmetry. We will get del 2 u by del y square equal to r square minus twice y minus b whole square divided by r to the power 4 r to the power 4 and del 2 u by del z square you will get r square minus twice z minus c whole square divided by r to the power 4 You get this. Whole square divided by r to the power 4. You get this. Therefore, <coughs> the 
therefore, del 2 u by a del x square plus del 2 u by a del y square plus del 2 u by a del z square will be equal to this will be equal to for del 2 u by del x square write this one r square minus 2 times of x minus a whole square divided by r to the power 4 plus r square minus 2 times of y minus b whole square divided by r to the power 4 plus r square minus 2 times of z minus c whole square divided by r to the power 4 you will get this you will get this this is equal to you will get r to the power 4 r square minus 2 times of x minus a whole square plus r square minus y minus 2 times of y minus b whole square plus r square minus 2 times of z minus c whole square. You will get this one. This is equal to r square r square r square 3 times of r square minus 2 times of and x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square. Whole square. You will get this. Divided by r to the power 4. Two common. From three terms. X minus, two times of x minus a whole square. Minus two times of y minus b whole square. Minus two times of z minus c whole square. And I am writing this. <coughs> you see, in the bracket x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square will be equal to r square will be equal to r square which is equal to and uh, in the denominator you will get r to the power 4 it will be thrice r square minus 2 times of it is r square by 2 by 2 by 2 you will get this one by 2 this is equal to r square by r to the power 4 equal to 1 by r square equal to 1 by r square Therefore, thus, this one, del 2 u by del x square plus del 2 u by del y square plus del 2 u by del z square equal to 1 by r square. You will get, this is equal to 1 by r square. Therefore, we have solved the question number 15. 15. It has also been done. <coughs> now, let us try to solve the question number 16. Question number 16. What is it? U equal to log of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus thrice x y z. Then we have to show these two things. Del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z equal to 3, 3 by x plus y plus z. Also this equal to minus 9 by x plus y plus z whole square. Let us try to solve this problem. <coughs> Question number 16. Right move of the question number 16. 16. If we will do log of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus thrice x y z u equal to this differentiate this with respect to x therefore del u by del x u is a function of x y and z del u by del x will be equal to x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus thrice x y z what is the differentiation of log x with respect to x 1 by x Differentiation of this with respect to this x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus thrice x y z will be equal to this. But you have to differentiate partially this with respect to x. It will be thrice x square. It will be plus zero plus zero minus thrice y z. Means del u by del x will be equal to three times of x square minus three times of x square minus three times of y z. 
थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ वाई जेड डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब प्लस जेड क्यूब माइनस थ्री सिक्स वाई जेड यू गेट दिस माइनस थ्री सिक्स वाई जेड सिमिलर इट इस वैल्यू बाय डेल्टा मींस डिफरेंशिएटिंग दिस पार्शियली उच्च रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सिमिलर If you differentiate, you will go to log of this partially with respect to y. You will get if you differentiate partially with respect to x, you get thrice x square minus thrice y z. If you differentiate partially with respect to y, then you will get three times of y square minus three times of. It is a function of x y and z. Other two variables, three times of other two variables, three times of y z. It will be definitely z x, and in the denominator you will get the same thing. And del u by del z will be equal to thrice z square minus thrice x y. With respect to z, differentiate thrice z square minus thrice x x y divided by x cube plus y cube plus z cube. Minus three six y z, you will get this one. Therefore, therefore, del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z. Add these three terms, this one, this one, and this one. If you add these three terms, then you will get in the denominator x cube plus y cube plus z cube. Minus three six y z, you will get this, and in the numerator you will get three six square. Minus three six y z plus three six y square minus three six z x plus three six z square minus three six x y. You will get this one. This means I am writing. <coughs> This is equal to from this is equal to three is on x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x. If you take three on from this and in the denominator a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus three c b c equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c, and you will get x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x. You will get this minus x y minus y z minus z x. You will get this. This means this two terms will be cancelled. This is equal to three by x plus y plus z. Thus. x plus y plus z del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z equal to three divided by x plus y plus z three divided by x plus y plus z therefore the number one first part has been proved del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z equal to three times three divided by x plus y plus z now Second part. Come to second part. Second part. What is the second part? This del del x plus del del y plus del del z whole square u, which is equal to del del x plus del del y plus del del z into again you have to write this one into u. Means del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z. Del u by del z. Look at this. This is equal to del del x plus del del y plus del del z. What is this? Just we have. Obtained 
del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z is equal to 3 divided by x plus y. This is equal to 3 divided by x plus y plus z. x plus y plus z. This is equal to del del x of 3 by x plus y plus z plus del del y of 3 by x plus y plus z plus del del z of 3 divided by x plus y plus z. You will get this one. This means this is equal to it is also a function of x, y, z. 3 in 1 by x plus y plus z means x plus y plus z whole to the power minus 1 means minus 1 into x plus y plus z whole to the power minus 2 and you have to differentiate x plus y plus z with respect to x plus z then you will definitely get 1 plus 0 plus 0 x plus y plus z with respect to x you have to treat y and z as constant plus here 3 times of minus 1 x plus y plus z whole to the power minus 2 into del del y of x plus y plus z means 0 plus 1 plus with respect to y if you differentiate x with respect to y you will get 0 if you differentiate y with respect to y you will get 1 and if you differentiate z with respect to y you will again get 0 plus 3 times of minus 1 x plus y plus z whole to the power minus 2 it will be 0 plus 0 plus 1 this is equal to minus 3 divided by x plus y plus z whole square x plus y plus z whole square again minus 3 divided by x plus y plus z whole square minus 3 divided by x plus y plus z whole square then you will get this is equal to x plus y plus z whole square you will get minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 means minus 9 divided by you will get this is equal to minus 9 divided by minus 9 divided by x plus y plus z whole square you will get this minus 9 divided by x plus y plus z whole square thus this is equal to minus 9 divided by this one therefore we have solved the question number 16 also question number 16 next time we shall try to solve more problems on partial differentiation today i want to stop here Thanks for attending the class. Thank you very much. Thank you.